Hello YouTube, Diecast Nation here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Fiat 500 from Hot Wheels. Before I begin the review of this 164 scale model, I'm going to give you guys some background on the real life Fiat 500. So this model is based on the modern Fiat 500, which was released in 2007, with production continuing to this day. And this model is most likely based on the North American version of the Fiat 500, which features a 1.4 liter multi-air inline four cylinder engine producing 101 horsepower. Uh, the Fiat 500 can be had with either a 6 speed automatic or a 5 speed manual transmission and in pop, lounge, and sport trim options. So, there's a little bit of the background information on the real life Fiat 500. Uh, with that out of the way, I can start reviewing uh, this model manufactured by Hot Wheels. So this model was released in 2014 in the Highway City Nightburner series and is finished in a nice pearl white exterior with a dark red interior. The windows are clear with a slight black tinting to them. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look around this model. So on the left hand side here we have some nice mirror detail door handle detail and this little indent right here is I assume rep supposed to represent a marker light. We also have some nice chrome wheels here with an interesting spoke pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of those wheels. I think, they, I think they look a little gaudy on this model but yeah, they don't look too bad I guess. But that's about it for the left hand side of this model. Let's go ahead and move on to the front so on the front here, we have some nice headlight detail painted on, as well as a Fiat logo here, as well painted on as well, and some turn signal detail and fog light detail, as well as an air dam to help cool the engine. Overall, I think the front of this vehicle looks very nice. It's very highly detailed. Moving on to the right-hand side, it is virtually identical to the left-hand side with the exception of this fuel filler cap right here. And moving around to the back of the vehicle, again we have that nice Fiat logo here, as well as painted on taillights. Nice rear bumper detail in your back window. Overall a very highly detailed backside to this vehicle. And on top here, we do not have a sunroof unfortunately, although we do have a nice rear spoiler. And inside, might be a little bit hard to tell there, but we have a very nice dashboard detail and a gear selector, as well as the steering wheel and seats obviously, all finished in a nice dark red color. A fairly highly detailed interior, and this vehicle does have rear seats, although they might be hard to see there. On the bottom here, we have the Hot Wheels logo. Copyright 2013 Mattel, and it says Fiat 500, made in Malaysia. We also have some front suspension detail, and your taillight and muff, or excuse me, tailpipe and muffler detail. And that's about it for the bottom. And there we go. That was my review of the Fiat 500 from Hot Wheels. Overall, I think this is a very nice looking model. I think that Hot Wheels put a lot of time and effort into detailing it. The headlights and taillights, as well as the Fiat logo, look very good on this. And I'm personally a fan of this paint color. I like this uh, pearl white exterior. I think it looks very sharp. And the red interior is also a very nice touch. Uh, the wheels are... I think the only thing I would change on this, I'm not a huge fan of those. But other than that, I think it's a very nice model, and I would recommend picking it up. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.